Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This episode, we'll talk about the virtue of faith. We've talked briefly about this before, in episode 30, but the virtue of faith and the fruit of the spirit of faithfulness are very closely connected. Faith itself means a few things. It can mean a willingness to believe something. It can mean an actual belief in something or someone, a trust in something. Finally, it can mean loyalty, faithfulness. I also mentioned briefly that you need faith in order to acquire any knowledge about anything, because if you're not willing to believe something, you won't come to any knowledge of it. I've heard some very intelligent people say that faith is just a temporary stage in our relationship with God until we come to a fuller knowledge of Him, but given the way the word is commonly used today, I just can't picture that being true. As I said, coming to fuller knowledge of something doesn't eradicate the faith, it strengthens it. For example, I have stronger faith in gravity than I do in string theory because I know more about gravity than I do about string theory. In the same way, I believe that faith in God will be increased, not eradicated, by knowledge of his existence. Faithfulness, or loyalty, means something closely related to this, a commitment to stand by the person you're loyal to and act in a trustworthy manner towards them. While faith helps us reach knowledge, faithfulness helps us reach charity, because being loyal to someone can lead you to doing what's best for them. Being disloyal to them, by contrast, leads to you not doing what's best for them. In other words, away from charity. The Catechism of the Catholic Church says as much. Faith is the theological virtue by which we believe in God and believe all that he has revealed to us, and that Holy Church proposes for our belief. Because he is truth itself. By faith, Man freely commits his entire self to God. For this reason, the believer seeks to know and do God's will. The righteous shall live by faith. Living faith works through charity. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 1814. So really, if you believe strongly enough in God and in his commandments, it should motivate you to be loyal to him and do his will. These two virtues are very closely connected. I, for one, am not going to separate them, at least not with respect to God. Belief in God, trust in God, and loyalty to God should all be present to the same degree in each and every Christian. This is also why you can't claim to have faith if you're not living faithfully. If a brother or sister has nothing to wear, and has no food for the day, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm, and eat well, but you do not give them the necessities of the body, what good is it? So also faith of itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Indeed, someone might say, You have faith and I have works. Demonstrate your faith to me without works, and I will demonstrate my faith to you from my works. James 2, 15-18 I think this shows us the real truth of these matters. You can't take faith and cut works away from it. The works aren't extraneous to your faith, the works are themselves a part of your faith, because without them you can't be truly faithful. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.